Hey, what's going on traders? Uh, supposedly there was quad witching today. Uh, did you guys notice the extra volatility in the market? Because I sure didn't. Still snagged two trades right off the scanners and uh, we're gonna get and discuss those. So as always, let's jump right into it. Our first trade was on Lucid, L-C-I-D. Um, this one was uh, not that great looking on the daily and I've been trying my best to take these when I think they're still worthwhile um, when they're inside of a range from the previous days. But as you can see, 1733 was the high from yesterday. And if we scroll in, it actually made a pretty decent move. Um, it was this candle here that got me interested. You can see kind of grind, 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 grind. And then boom, we finally got the nice candle um, up towards that 17 area. It didn't seem like I wanted to go through. So we went ahead and started it. And then it did go through. So we got a nice little ad there. Um, tried to go a little bit higher. Was ready to add into this resistance, which was the high from yesterday. Um, but it didn't quite get there. And then we got a nice little pullback. Um, I was hoping to scale out of this. We had, uh, what do we have? 200 shares. I believe I took 150. Yep. And so I was trying to hold this last 50, looking for a, obviously a much bigger move to the downside. Unfortunately, it didn't want to give it to us. And I ended up taking them off. As you can see, this thing decided to go much higher ultimately before making a nice little nosedive all the way back down to the lows. So decent trade there. And then our only other trade was actually our better trade on IGC. Uh, started this with 300 shares. Uh, this just came right off the intensity stock watch scanners. Um, obviously link for that down below as always, and just played the jiggle. I think the halt price was up at like 82. Um, had we been closer to the halt price, I probably start this with a little bit more size. Um, because as you can see, I hit it on the second candle. I never play that first candle of a volume out of nowhere. I heard the news uh, from Charlie, pulled it up. And pretty much as this candle was ending, um, I noticed that it was just, it ran into a wall. It seemed like at 74. And uh, so we ended up starting this, got filled at 73. As it was trying to get through that wall, it did not it gave us a nice pullback, took 200 of the 300 off, took another 50 off down here. And ultimately I had told myself I was, I was going to try to wait for low of day. Um, but it did start to stall out and we were pretty close to that previous resistance, uh, down here at 57 where the move kind of started. So just took it off, um, was happy with the, uh, move and the profits on that one. So that's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I always appreciate that support. Again, if you do want to hit that join button down below, if you do the mid-level membership, it will give you access to all my live trades so you can watch these trades back if you so please. Uh, if you do the entry level only, uh, it's a nice way to support the channel and I appreciate it. It does give you the cool little red name in the Discord if you are into that. And then as always, if you are actually looking to learn from me, if that's a possible thing that you'd like to do, um, get it while it's cheap. It's only 10 bucks here on YouTube. And then you can kind of ask away inside discord. It's kind of, I, I, I kind of allow that anyway, but, um, trying to monetize a little bit, um, get a little bit of that passive income coming in and Hey, I'm not ashamed to say it. You know, uh, if you have something to offer, uh, you might as well try to, uh, get a little bit of money for it. So um, if you're interested in any of that, join button is down below. Other than that, have a good weekend. You can always find me in Discord or on Twitter, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.